Hey guys, it's the Chappiness guy. So, uh, over the last couple of years and months, a few people have asked me what's with me taking cold showers, jumping into ice baths, and rolling myself around in the snow like a crazy person. So, I'm gonna talk to you guys a little bit about it. So, cold exposure or cold therapy, uh, it's, it's very beneficial for many things. First of all, disclaimer, I wouldn't recommend anybody to just wake up one morning and throw themselves in a pile of snow. I don't think that's good. You need to progressively expose yourself to the cold in order to get the benefits from it. So for example, some of the benefits are that uh, it's anti-inflammatory. So you have a lot of inflammation in your body. It helps your muscles kind of relax. Uh, so also, if you are suffering from anxiety or depression or a lot of stress, this, uh, the, the, exposure to, the exposure to the cold water it's, it's kind of like a way to, to get your body into that parasympathetic uh, uh, response. So sympathetic and parasympathetic, I'm gonna explain a little bit about them. Often people think sympathetic means sympathy, so it's a good one. No, wrong. Sympathetic, uh, the sympathetic state of mind is when you are in a chronic state of stress, high alert, uh, fight or flight, uh, fear, insecurity, but parasympathetic is when you are in uh, rest and digest, comfortable, relaxed, calm. So that's, that's kind of like what the cold showers and the exposure to the cold does. It, it, it raises your level of, of basically resistance to the sympathetic response or to the stress levels because throwing yourself into a cold shower, you, your body can, kind of goes in a state of shock. Like, why are we doing this? Get me out of here. So you start to kind of like panic a little bit, but then as you relax into it and you and you ease into it, you start to learn, okay, well, this is not, not as bad. So your, your anxiety, your, your panic state, your, your fear starts to kind of like either decrease or your level of, of uh, strength towards it starts to increase. So you, you often get, feel better, a little bit better after a cold shower. It is a, it is a thing that you have to be consistent about. So practice daily, and it, it helps you control your mind too. Because every day I've been doing it for over a year, and every day when I'm about to jump in that cold shower, I'm like, oh God, here we go again. And I and I'm and I try to find ways to like, I'm like, ah, oh, maybe later, or maybe not today. But then I'm like, no, I gotta do it, and I'm gonna do it. And I said it many times because I live in Canada. Our pipes in the winter time are frozen, so the ice. The, the, sorry, the water that comes through the pipes is like ice, extremely cold to the point that it almost burns your skin. But, uh, but I do it to just push myself and, and tell my mind, hey, you know what? I got control over my mind. My mind doesn't have control over me. So that's what the cold showers, the ice baths, and rolling in the snow are about. Are about uh, reducing inflammation in the body, helping you have self-control of your mind, being disciplined and consistent because you gotta do it every single day and also the fact that it helps you raise or increase your level of response to stress or to anxiety because you're, you're basically confronting that fear of, of jumping into the, into the cold. So cold therapy is great for that. And same, this, this kind of connects with the breathing therapy. I, I do a lot of breathing exercises, which uh, you basically do 30 fast, fast deep, deep breaths, 30 to 60, and then you exhale and hold it in your excel for up to two minutes or longer if you can i usually do two minutes and this this creates a, a a lot of carbon dioxide in your system which is telling your body basically like i'm choking i'm choking breathe breathe but you tell your mind no i'm not choking i'm controlling this on purpose so i'm gonna hold it for the two minutes and when the two minutes have passed you take a deep deep breath so that that basically adapts your body and your mind to to be more resistant towards stress. All right, so I hope this clears a lot of uh, uh, questions that many people have been asking me about the about why I do cold therapy and what it's good for. And again, I don't recommend for people just to jump in a freezing cold shower for three minutes right from the get-go. It's, it's slowly build your exposure to the cold, but try to push it at least, at least one minute when you start. One minute, get out of it, and if, if you feel that you can do more, maybe do more, but don't just, you don't just jump into it uh, with all guns blazing from from the get-go all right guys find your chappiness